Diversity Monitoring Report 2023. Summary. In this year, we have seen a positive story of increased diversity in our staff group, improvements in our recruitment to attract groups underrepresented in our workforce, and the reduction of our gender pay gap to 0%. This report describes the diversity of the Scottish Parliamentary Service Staff Group and any pay gaps for gender, ethnicity, disability and sexual orientation. The publication of the report meets the requirements of the Public Sector Equality Duty of the Equality Act 2010 to gather and use employee information on the protected characteristics. The employee profile information in this report uses data at the snapshot date of March 31, 2023 along with recruitment data collected from April 1, 2022 to March 31, 2023. What do the findings tell us? This year's report tells us the following. The diversity declaration rates from the staff group are within the range of 73% to 99%, including prefer not to say responses across the different protected characteristics. We will continue to engage with our staff group to improve on this rate. The proportion of women in our leadership group is the same as last year at 70%. At senior manager level, grade 6 and above, there has been an increase in the proportion of women from 54% last year to 57%. The percentage rate of minority ethnic people in the staff group increased from 5% to 5.5%. For LGB+, lesbian, gay, bisexual and plus staff, there was an increase from 5.9% to 6.5%. The percentage of staff declaring a disability has increased from 8.3% to 9.7%. The proportion of young people in our staff group decreased from 3.7% to 2.8%. Recruitment data this year tells us that the proportion of applications from minority ethnic candidates increased from 18% to 22%. In addition, Successful appointments to minority ethnic candidates increased by 3% to 14%. The proportion of applications from disabled candidates decreased from 12% to 9.3% and successful appointments decreased from 11% to 8.4%. Appointments to LGB plus candidates decreased slightly from 19% to 17%, with the proportion of applications from LGB plus people increasing from 13% to 15%. Applications from women were again 50% of all applications this year. Successful appointments to women decreased from 66% of all appointments in 2022 to 59% this year. In this year, 
1% of applications and appointments were from people who described their gender as in another way to man or woman, compared to 0% in the previous year. This year, the median gender pay gap decreased to 0% from 11.2% in the previous year. The median disability pay gap this year decreased to 4.8% from 13.4% in the previous year. The median ethnicity pay gap decreased this year from 30.1% to 20.1%. This year, the pay gap on the basis of sexual orientation, LGB plus pay gap, has increased from 9.8% to 16.1%. This is attributed to the new starts joining at the first point on the salary scale for the grade. We conducted a review of our pay and reward arrangements in the reporting period. We redesigned our pay structure and reviewed our job classification framework to remove possible systemic barriers and pay gaps. We will continue with development programmes to support staff with their career progression in support of our aim to reduce all our pay gaps. What we will do next? We have reviewed the findings from this report and the recommendations made in an external inclusion maturity assessment, which was conducted by one of our strategic partners in March 2023. This has produced a roadmap to achieve our diversity and inclusion aims, set out in our session Six People and Culture Strategy.